what is going on? I hope everybody's doing good today, or tonight, or last night, or whatever it is you may watch this. So, what do we got today? We've got a little dinosaur edition coming out. The T-Rex. So, had a repeat customer order this up. We've got it on our Shop Saber CNC plasma table here. Fixing to run her through the process and see just how this joker turns out. All right, guys, you'll have to uh, put up with air compressor running in the background. I'm trying to get busy cutting signs tonight. So that is how the dinosaur turned out. The old T-Rex. Not too shabby. So uh, you get those little small lines in there. I like to do, you know, a lot of people would just cut a, just a straight line in there, have one cut, be done. But I think with those lines, you know, widening out and then narrowing down, I think that... Uh, makes a lot better product makes a lot better look so yeah i try to get away from just the straight cuts uh to break everything up put a little more detail in it than normal but this gentleman also ordered i love you to the moon and back in a very very special color and we will see just how that turns out so we're gonna get these two signs cleaned up get them over here uh wire wheeled down everything get them back over here get some primers on these primer on these jokers see just what happens let's see what we can make them look like
right, guys, let's paint a dinosaur and see what happens. Uh, we're going with the uh, hammered bronze, is what they call this color. I can't remember it exactly. Hold on a second. A little chilly this afternoon, a little chilly this afternoon. So let's put a little hammered bronze on it and see what happens. I'm not sure what color dinosaur is actually supposed to be, but we're going to make this one this color. I think that hammered finish will give it a little more uh, texture, a little more, make it look more like dinosaur skin, I guess you'd say. Ah, I'm no kind of artist. So this hammered stuff is uh, a little different. So the wetter you put it on, you're always trying to keep your sign kind of wet with the paint. So the uh, the thicker coat you put on it, the more texture you'll get out of it. If that makes sense. It uh, that hammer will start popping out a little more. Just layer it on there, pretty heavy and pretty thick. I've set it up a bunch before and I'll say it again. Make sure you get all four sides. You get all those edges. That's the important stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure all you guys are subscribed, watch my stuff on a regular. You've heard me say this all the time. But if you're not, you might want to go over there and do that. You greatly would, we greatly would appreciate it. Hey, while you're over there, if you hit that thumbs up too. So we're going to kind of try to do some spots here. Maybe that'll kind of, I think on the T-Rex, the back is kind of got some spots on it. But we'll see. I don't know. It don't look too bad. But, uh, tell me what you guys think so far. As you sit there and watch, that uh, textured look is going to come out a little more. So, we'll see what it looks like when it dries. So, let's uh, let's get the proper color on that sign right there. What do you think? All right, guys. So, I don't think I've told you all what color we're painting this, but we're about to find out. It's going to be pow. They call it Tropic Leaf. It's about as close to a, to a neon... Uh, a neon green as you can get uh, without going uh, with uh, that uh, upside down marking paint. They've got it in neon. Uh, that's about the only two cans I find that paint very well at all. But let's see what we can make this sign do. So we got two coats of primer on there. Get all these edges done. This doesn't paint as well as some of the other colors. But it does paint pretty good. Not too, not too terrible. Some of these off colors, they uh, they're a little harder to paint sometimes. Guys, take a little bit more time with. It. And I'm not the best painter in the world either. So I have to take my, more of my time. <clears throat> I don't know. What do you guys think so far? How's that uh, how's the green turning out? So this is what we called uh, our get out of jail free card with the wife. Somebody ordered. We greatly appreciate his order too, by the way. I'll throw that out there. Can't thank everybody enough. Appreciate all the new subscribers we've been getting lately. We've been getting a few of those trickling in. Uh, we're not making great moves like they're perfect, but uh, hey, we're trying. That's all we can do is try. All right, we're going to let this uh, sit up just a little bit. We'll get a second coat on it and uh, see how it turns out. I'll bring you guys in for the finished product. We'll see how they turn out. All right, everybody. So there you go. There is I Love You to the Moon and back in the neon green. Turned out very, very, very nice. Couldn't, uh, couldn't ask for better how that paint turned out. This paint is usually a little sketchy to, uh, to paint. It's a little temperamental. 
not gonna not gonna lie about that one it's uh it's a little different than than most normal but yeah and here is how the t-rex turned out and as you guys can see it's got that hammered finish to it i think it turned out uh turned out pretty good the that hammered paint it really comes in handy when you're trying to put in texture or something like that it's uh it's a very good paint to uh, break up the monotony of, you know, your your gloss paints and, and your semis and your flats and stuff. This gives you an extra uh, avenue to go down and, you know, change things up a little bit. So they're starting to come a long way with that uh, hammered paint. But yeah, big shout out to the customer. Thank you for your order, sir. Can't say enough great things about that. It is awesome. Uh, and if you guys want any of those sides, let us know.